fresh off the boat, and even the title is uh, offensive to a lot of people. Now, the show is loosely based on a book written by Eddie Wong, who is talking about his experiences growing up Asian in suburbia. He's a producer on the show, and I spoke to Eddie earlier today on our set. Me, my American dream was to fit in. Why do all your shirts have black men on there? It's notorious B.I.G. Okay, let me just say this. First of all, I really like this show. I've seen the first two episodes. So why use the title Fresh Off the Boat? I called the book Fresh Off the Boat because I identify more with my parents' generation and the country they came from, and I wanted to hold on to that and respect my roots. The show is about 11-year-old Eddie's life fitting into suburban Orlando as an American-born Taiwanese-Chinese kid who loves hip-hop and basketball. He even narrates the show. Fresh off the boat, the term, I'm using it. I'm reclaiming this, and I'm owning this term along with my parents and their generation. When you allow everyone to say, I'm fresh off the boat, that's like to let everyone say the N-word. Like, that's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You can't enable other people to use a term that's for your community. So then why put it out there? Because now people, you understand that some people may use it because of that reason. But here's the thing. This is a very important question. I'm so glad you asked that. I refuse to allow dominant culture to limit the words that I can use. Just because I'm afraid of them using it or afraid of them thinking of me a certain way, I will not limit my vocabulary. I will not limit my identity. Who won bought into the American dream? I don't know why we have to move. So your father can own a cowboy restaurant. All right, let's get another perspective. Joining us right now from New York, um, Randall Park, one of the stars of the show. Um, you play the father on it. And Randall, you are no stranger to controversy because you also play Kim Jong-un in the interview. <laughs> I sure did. Yeah, you know, Randall, this is actually the first time in 20 years that a network uh, show is centered around an Asian-American family. And yeah. I would say it's long overdue, considering there are 20 million people in this country who identify themselves as Asian. So do you feel like people are, are counting on you to get it right, so to speak? I do feel that, you know, that pressure, especially since we're the only one out there right now, and it's been so long. You know, the show is uh, obviously very controversial because so many stereotypes types are used. Was it meant to be controversial, getting people to talk, and obviously we're talking about it, so it creates publicity? Do you think that's the intent? It's groundbreaking. I think it's important to kind of see things from, from other perspectives, you know, and, and, and that's how we, we, we connect more with people who are different from us on a daily basis in terms of our lives, and I feel like uh, hopefully our show can open the doors to, to, to more shows like it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.